These are some of the most dramatic images in one of the most bizarre stories to ever come out of the city of Oshawa. October 2012, shortly after this local council meeting, We're at the report this the man, the city solicitor David Potts, was kidnapped at gunpoint, allegedly grabbed from his home and taken here to an industrial building where a standoff between police and the gunman inside lasted for 27 tense hours. Former Oshawa councillor Robert Luchik has spent almost two years in custody awaiting trial on kidnapping, gun and weapons charges. And now he wants his name on the ballot in next month's municipal election. Honestly, when I first looked at it, I said this is impossible. And in fact, I'm totally wrong on that because the legislation says if you're serving a term of imprisonment, he is not serving any sentence. He's being held in custody pending his trial. Corrections Canada has barred him from an on-camera interview, so we spoke to Robert Luchek by phone. How would you possibly campaign from within a jail cell? The primary requirement for campaigning is to get one's name to be recognized that they're running. It's not like I'm an unknown person trying to get my name out there. His motives may be more self-serving than serving constituents. Denied bail three times, Robert Luchik says, if elected, a judge would have to let him out. It would be pretty hard for a judge to not release me when the people have said, really, I mean, are we not in a democracy here? And I'm going to be taking my place at that council table and I'm going to be sworn in and then I'm going to fight this. It sounds ludicrous, right? Maybe not. If he were to be elected, it would be a statement from the electors of the city of Oshawa, and that would be a very compelling argument to the judge, that the electors demand that he serve his term of office. At Oshawa City Hall, meanwhile, the application has been filed by an agent, but there's a bit of a snag. We've yet to receive acceptable identification that would qualify Mr. Luchik to run for office. The problem? His driver's license has expired. I believe they're trying to run out the clock so that the deadline passes and then they're going to blame me for not meeting the deadline. The nomination deadline expires Friday, September 12th. Running out of time, Luchek is now asking a judge to intercede. It's an application to Superior Court judge to compel the superintendent to take me down to City Hall to sign up. The people of Oshawa, though, might not be quite ready for his return. It's not appropriate for him to run, I don't think. How can he do that? By law, he can. I don't see how he can. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. Now, Robert Luchik has been denied legal aid, so he'll be defending himself when his trial begins in January. Now, he did give me a bit of a hint of just what his defense will be, telling me that medications he was taking for stomach problems put him into a mental fog the night of that kidnapping two years ago. Uh, we'll have some of that jailhouse interview up on our website, citynews.ca, and you can reach out to me on this or any other story. I'm on Twitter, at City Avery.